Hey guys, it's uh, John V3 IPS. I have another video here. I'm out at the park. Sub-zero weather, another cold day here, and we just got a pounding of snow here uh, last week. Anyways, uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. I got the ICOM 703 in the LC156 backpack. I'm running a BiNO 3 amp hour battery. The ICOM 703 only pulls a, a few amps. I think it's 2.8 amps or close to 3 amps at, uh, at 10 watts power across the various bands. I've got the remote head connected onto it and I've got an external speaker on it. So the antenna I'm going to show you is the M104 JNC radio uh, multiband antenna. I got it from chelligance.com and that antenna covers 40 20 15 and 10 meters and as a bonus it's got a telescopic whip i can use it on two meters and 770 uh 220 i can use it uh 70 centimeters six meters it's a bit short it's a 46 inch antenna i need uh, an extra six inches in order to push that up onto uh the six meter band but we could probably do that with just an alligator clip lead on it or um, or maybe substitute a, a longer whip antenna for it so as you can see, the Chelligans box, it's a small little box. I think it's four by seven inches, about an inch thick. Fits in a vest pocket, no problem. Very small, very lightweight. And there you can see I've got the base unit, the four coils for the bands, the whip, and also a ground lead. It does not come with a counterpoise. I'm probably going to use some number uh, 26 silky wire and should probably fit in the box or kind of fit on tie with, uh, with a broccoli... Uh, a broccoli broccoli elastic band on it now in this antenna here I got a bracket that I made here uh, this is the diamond CRM bracket but I made a, a mount for it this was an extender um, it's about a foot long I've got a stud on the bottom and a three at the top this was just to an extend another antenna I had to make it a little bit longer to achieve some resonance uh, but since I have it on the backpack here and I can mount uh, a regular antenna on it using a 38-24 um, CB stud on I can put any other antenna on it but for this one here I've got the SO239 connector because that is what this antenna is uh, using so well thought out so let's let's go on 20 add the coil in everything's brass stainless steel very well made um, I've made uh, about 60, 70 contacts already with this antenna. I'm very happy and mobile, uh, sorry, a fixed mobile application as well as portable. And as well as the way I have it right now, I did a park activation uh, using this with uh, 10 watts on uh, uh, 18 megs, 17 meter band. Okay, so I have that up and let's turn the radio on and see what's going on on 20 meters. Thank you, Bert. You have a good evening, buddy. And uh, I, it's funny, I was thinking about you earlier today going, where is Bert? Maybe uh, are Hey, I found this beautiful there. speaker oh, here. I got this at Dayton Hamvention uh, last year for a uh, for dollar. I wish the guy had more. These are nice little uh, speakers and uh, kind of goes perfect with this setup yeah, here. So, man pack operation. What am I missing? I'm missing my radio. So let's pop the package open. And I've got two radios that I set up here. Typically, I'll use one or two radios depending on the configuration. So let's, uh, let's just toss this out. And there you go. As expected, the, the volume has increased. So we'll just toss that out. Okay, so that's that guy's coming in five nine plus forty. So twenty meters is open. 